Well, good day. I'm Dwayne Matz, and this is today's Living Word. We're going to look at Hosea chapter 4, looking at verse 1 today. We read these words, Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord brings a charge against the inhabitants of the land. There is no truth or mercy or knowledge of God in the land. That's Hosea 4, verse 1. And I don't believe that this charge from the Lord is restricted to the people of Hosea's day. And I say that because the charge is leveled against the inhabitants of the land. Well, guess what? As a nation, the United States of America, we inhabit a land. And if the shoe fits us, God's charges fit us, well, then we must wear it. But what are the charges? Well, according to this verse, there were three of them. There was a trampling of truth, there was a lack of mercy, and a lack of knowledge of God. And then in the next verse, Hosea goes on to point out the evidences of such a culture. And we'll have more on that next time. But today, I want to zero in on this lack of knowledge, because this lack of knowledge concerning God will produce the results of trampled truth and a lack of mercy. And the idea of knowledge here is not that of head knowledge, but rather that of intimacy, heart knowledge. That word knowledge comes from the same word used when Adam and Eve, or when Adam knew Eve, and she conceived. So the charge against the inhabitants of the land really is this. They lack a personal relationship with God. And it's not so much a charge, but just stating a fact. The problem with the inhabitants of the land is they lack a personal relationship with God. And we know that that personal relationship uh, comes through faith, God granted faith, we should say, in the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's plain to say what needs to happen in our land where the, to overcome this spiritual stupor and this trampling of, of truth and merciless society, we need revival to rectify the situation. And by that, I mean, we need an outpouring of the Holy Spirit to turn people from their wayward ways back to the ways of the Lord, to turn our hearts toward Jesus, where truth and mercy are champion. Revival. Well, Corey Ten Boom had this to say about revival. If you want revival, draw a circle in the ground. Then you step into that circle and you pray, Lord, bring revival to whatever is in this circle. My challenge to you today and myself, will you step inside that circle? Will you pray for personal revival? Because revival starts one soul at a time. Why can't it start with me? Why can't it start with you? I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.